this came out of nowhere. It was literally bright and sunny as could be like an hour ago when I went on break. It was 100 on break, now it's 73. And literally downpouring. Yeah, so I just got Panera bread for the first time in like years. I think it's the second time I've ever had Yeah, second time I've ever had it. Um, I remember, I don't know, just the other day randomly I was like, dang, this sounds good because I haven't had it in forever. And, uh, okay, yeah, three. What the fuck are you doing? Ohio drivers, I swear to God. We're in a one-way exit. He's on the right side of the exit, but over just far enough to where I can't go on the left side of the exit, and he just now turned his blinker on. Ohio drivers are amazing. But yeah, so anyways, um, I don't know what made me think of this randomly. I was like, oh, that sounds good. And I know we got one in town, so. I uh, stopped at the Vance Auto, picked up some stuff I needed, and then turned around and grabbed this. But I did like, they don't let you come in and get it. Like when you order it online, it's just delivery or like they bring it to your car. And I had no idea where to go. So I pull up and then I see these spots like off to the side. And as you can see, it's raining pretty hard. I'm like, I could have just got out and like grabbed this stuff from this guy. I felt bad, but. They don't give you like a receipt to sign or anything either. So I just put a few bucks on the tip, which I hate doing. Cause it's like, you know, what if you tip and then get terrible service, but oh well. I'm way home. Like I said, an hour ago, it was like sunny and literally a hundred degrees. Now it's like dark enough where you almost need your headlights on and it keeps pouring off and on. So as soon as I stop recording, you see, we're here on Telegraph. There's a middle turning lane. That car that I was just behind turn out of that thing stops in the middle of the road and then, like, kind of turns their wheel and then turns their blinker on and turns in somewhere, like... There's a middle turning lane. Like, even if you have no idea what you're doing, get in the turning lane so you're not impeding traffic. But, uh... Yeah, so I want to talk about work. Um, I feel like, because now it's like official, like everything, you know, all these these coronavirus cases are rising again, like rapidly. Um, and like, you know, they're, they're being like acknowledged, you know, not just hearing like, yeah, I heard they're getting worse. Like, no, like it's actually like legitimately I don't know, they're they're taking action, I guess, is what I'm looking for, looking to say. Um, I heard, I think this morning, I was like half asleep, but I read something like California and Texas and a couple other states had reported like their highest daily death toll or something like that, and they're still on their, you know, super high new cases every day and stuff, which again, people argue like, well, yeah, obviously there's a lot popping up because, you know, more people are getting tested now, like... I understand that, but like, you know, like, that does mean that people have it, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like people are getting tested and like being like, yeah, you had it a few months ago, but you're good now. Like, no, they're being tested and they have it now, regardless of, you know, how many are being tested. Like, the numbers are going up and up. Yeah, sure, we're doing more tests, but, you know, the numbers are significantly higher. Um, between like you know all these the protests and the rioting and stuff like that like the presidential campaigns and everything opening back up as quickly as it did like Michigan they were doing everything in phases like we were gonna do a little bit at a time a lot of places like Ohio where I work it was pretty much like everything's closed today and then tomorrow everything's open at full capacity I mean and I'm, I'm totally exaggerating when I say that but but yeah, I mean, whether there are actually more cases or not right now, like, it appears that cases are higher than ever. Um, 
I think things are going to shut back down, if we're being honest, but they might not. Who knows? But Michigan was about to open a lot of things back up, and then they halted. They, they said no on the gyms, and oh, come on. The one time I want to make this light green, and this car is turning. But, uh, so Michigan, like, backed out on opening the gyms. They're, they, they're not doing the gyms now. Um, a lot of counties, a lot of state, a lot of counties in states are making masks mandatory, like out in public. Um, I believe for us, that goes into effect tonight, like today, at like 6 p.m. or something like that. Um, down by my work, it's like that. Um, people are pissed, but like, my view on it is supposedly this stuff, you know, like there's like a two week incubation period or whatever. If we can all just band together, swallow your pride, get over the, oh, you can't infringe on my constitutional rights making me wear a goddamn mask. Get over that, wear the mask, put up with this for, think of how quick two weeks would go by. Think of how long we've been dealing with this stuff. It's been since like early March. So March, April, May, June, July, it's going on like four or five months now that we've been dealing with this. That's a long time. Now imagine if for just two weeks, everybody could swallow their pride and get over themselves and actually wear your mask and wear it properly, you know, stay inside, we no need to be out. And again, like this includes me too, you know, I'm, I'm not the person that's like, oh, I'm not wearing a mask, but you know, I'm also not gonna say, yeah, I'm staying inside and stuff. No, you know, obviously I'm out and about right now, but um, you know, if we could just do that for a couple weeks, I feel like this stuff would blow over pretty quickly, but I could be wrong. I don't know. That's just my view on it. But, um, regardless, it's just like, just deal with it. You know, like they're not holding a gun to your head and saying you're not allowed to leave your house. Like people are acting. It's a mask. <laughs> like it's just a mask. Um, But yeah, I guess today at the company that we build parts for, I don't know, this might have been a rumor, this rumor mill. Let me, um, let me uh, give that disclaimer out. They said uh, the CDC was there and there was like three or four more people that tested positive or when I say tested positive, I mean like got their test results back while they were at work. So. You're at work interacting with people. Um, you're in these very confined things that they build. They build these vehicles. You're in these vehicles where you've got four or five people in an area like this where I'm sitting right here right now. There's no ventilation. It's going down an assembly line and you've got all these people in there doing their job. And then they get out and then the next person gets in there and they grab all the same tools and a lot of the same parts. And these people are testing positive. And what do they do? They, from what I've read now, they, they're not even stopping the line. They're basically telling people like, shut up and get back to work. Um, I guess the last one that tested, like they had sprayed some stuff right there in their personal workstation. And then just, all right, keep going. Um, you know, what about all the vehicles that this person has been in touching, breathing in, you know, you're in there for an, an extended period of time and people were bringing that up and, you know, management's just basically like, F off, do your job, don't worry about it. Like, that is, I know I've ranted about this a lot in my videos lately, but that makes my blood boil. Like, it's just solid proof and I don't expect these places to just, you know, love me and cherish me and, you know, want the best and everything for me. Like, I know, they're, they're there for, they're, they're, they're there for profit they want their numbers they want their vehicles i understand that but when you just blatantly basically just say f you when i say i'm concerned about my health and that you could give a shit less like that's mind-blowing to me and it's at a union place these unions anymore are just i don't know i don't know um not a lot of positive things i hear people saying about them but uh yeah, so I feel like it's taken longer than I thought. Like, I thought cases would skyrocket at work. But, you know, obviously they haven't, but they are steadily growing. Um, 
there's been a couple news articles now about it you know like workers are concerned for their health and these companies aren't taking it serious and then you get the people too like reading the comments on these because i'm like oh cool you know that's in direct relation to what i'm doing you know that's the company that we build parts for so what's to say and then you read the comments and all oh, these ungrateful auto workers just want more time off they're lazy they suck you know blah 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 like some of them yeah sure absolutely guaranteed but the majority no me personally like if i got it i would probably be fine if my girlfriend got it, or i'm sorry my fiance if she got it she'd probably be fine if most of our family got it they'd probably be fine but i don't want to take that risk because there are people my age that have had complications there are people my age that have died there are people younger that have died i've heard some terrible terrible stories about this stuff like just people saying like they've been in the hospital for three months and they barely have function on their you know they can't control their lungs and you know kind of all kind of jesus all kinds of crazy stuff like that but um like i don't want to risk that like obviously yeah i had a great time when i was off work but again my health is over all that crap seen that cheese that was like blinding so i got the bacon macaroni and cheese and it comes with the random chunk of bread um i wish it was more honestly that's like tiny that's <laughs> one little chunk but uh i love dipping the bread in there this is i think this is what i got last time i was trying to remember but it was something similar to this but all their soups and all that stuff i know are pretty good and then you just literally like dip the bread in it can't go wrong Got a drink, got a big chocolate chip cookie, so about to chow down. Say hi, Coco. Say hi. She's like, give me off camera. What's up guys just got back from playing the drone uh you guys will probably see that video after this one um i wanted to go out i'm off it's sunday weather when i decided to fly it the weather was really nice like it was super sunny there was like almost no wind like i think the app said like three four mile an hour winds which is nothing for that thing so i'm like cool i'll be able to take it all the way up and get all kinds of cool footage um I drove up to like Taylor Southgate area because I had to go to Best Buy to get some new propellers and like as soon as I got up there and got out of the car it just started getting windy as hell like you know like I, I could feel it in the parking lot and stuff and I you know the flags were like flying straight sideways and I was like come on so I look at the app again and it was at like 12 to like 18 mile an hour winds which again isn't a lot but for this for you know this mini drone you know the size of the palm of my hand that's basically like it might be able to handle more but from my experience that's like maxed out like i'm not pushing it through any more than that and uh the app will literally just start just repeatedly buzzing on my phone when i am flying it saying that it's too windy to uh, return to home so i got some cool footage i got some really good footage well I found some really good spots. I tried to get some good footage. Um, there's a lot of people around, so I didn't really fly it too much. Plus, like I said, it's super windy, so I could only take it about maybe a third of the way as high as I wanted. I was at about, I'd say probably like 100 to 150 feet on average, which, you know, is nothing. You can go up to 400 with that. You can go higher, but that's illegal. Um, so, you know, 400 gives you that really awesome aerial view of everything. And don't get me wrong, like 100 to 150 is still really cool, but it wasn't as cool as it could be. So maybe I'll go back one day soon when it's not windy. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to make a cook with me video, which is going to be a different video from this one, which you guys will see. If I remember, because I'm really bad at forgetting, I will link that video like up here in the corner or down in the description or something. Or at the end of the video, I'll do like a little pop-up thing. But uh, 
yeah, I'm about to be at the store. So let's get some food. I am starving. So what time is it? Like nine o'clock and we're going for a swim? <laughs> it's 8.30 and we just had Froyo. Yeah. But I'll tell you what I can feel in my stomach when I walk. I can my stomach. <laughs> well that food dinner still got me Let's like. See what the water just looks like not smooth, but it's so calm compared to the last few times we were down here. I got Coco on some footage. She was choking herself. <laughs> what was that? Is that an apple or a ball? Tomato. <laughs> Tomato? <laughs> what? Probably. There's dinner. Ooh, Grab it. So he looks, gonna love it. He looks angry. <laughs> uh oh. Some kind of satanic ritual. Stay strong. I like it. Motivational. Oh. Hmm? What does that stand for? I don't know. Hey, fun fact, guys, this is like one of the first places I almost took Ryan up. <laughs> is that, oh, I wonder if someone did that themselves. Possibly, yeah. Cleaned it all up. I'm surprised there's only a couple boats out. Water is so much cleaner than usual. It'd be a nice view if there wasn't a big nuclear place right there. What? It'd be a nice view if there wasn't a big nuclear place gleaming in the sun. It's crazy, the water, it's like warmer the deeper you get. I'm like chest deep now. Uh, maybe that's because I'm used to it. But last week, couple last couple weeks we've been swimming, the water's been like legitimately warm, like probably, I'd say at least 80 degrees. Now it's definitely a lot cooler, but it's so much cleaner, like I can, it's like, literally neck deep and I can see my foot. Um, Shelby went to pick her sister and brother up. They're going to spend the night or just her sister. I don't remember, but just got out of the shower. She had this in there that she just bought. It does not taste like toasted marshmallow at all. I give this a zero out of 10. Do not try it. <laughs> 